Good morning, guys. Oh my goodness, that was the best sleep that I have had in a while. We're waiting for our breakfast, which is gonna be served at 8.30, and then we have our first PCR test at 10. The breakfast is here. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. And then we have some water, some cafe latte. You're here. <laughs> they like swiveled it inside of my nostril for like nine seconds. Mm. And they didn't do a throat one, so I guess they do different things here. Yeah. I'm no, surprised. It's fine. Definitely fine. PCR test, day one, done. The lunch has come. Oh yeah. That's his. Mine is this one. Ooh la la. Oh, it's what I got last night. <laughs> And then miso soup. No, that's your soup. No, that is miso soup. And, oh, they're both miso soups. Time that's to bad. feast. It's not my first time having this. I had this last night, but we were just too tired to record anything. But let's just say, it's not that it was fresh last night. It was just 2 a.m. So I feel like it's gonna taste even better now. That was right. Yeah. And yesterday they didn't have matcha cake or the wakame salad, but now they do. <coughs> I'm gonna do this soup. Soup? Mmm. Smells like mm -hmm. mint, onion, and beef. Whoa, the soup today is better. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> mm. Good. Good morning guys, it's day two of our quarantine in Jakarta. We just got our breakfast, which is over there. Super excited for it. I got some dairy vegetarian free breakfast because my stomach was kind of hurting. So I wanted to take it easy and not have like meat and rice and stuff like that. This is my breakfast. I got some chia pudding, some oatmeal, scrambled eggs and fruit. Brother also got some oatmeal, croissant, little bakery stuff, eggs and fruit. You're so big. Hi, hello. Sorry, I want to apologize that you ordered the menu 9 and. I have no idea what she just said. I'm so confused. Look at this, it's our lunch. A little mishap got cleared up. I still don't understand what happened, but we got our food. I got the vegetarian menu. I got some vegan. Carrot cake, um, Caesar salad, no, sorry, Greek salad, fruits. This was originally supposed to be grilled vegetables, but I don't really like grilled vegetables, so I asked for fruits, cheese, Parmesan for the salad, I think, and then some pasta, and then I think beet soup or like squash soup. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan. This is my brother's. He has some beans, um, cake. Rice I think that's fish. and fish. It's like the dory fish, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Also, this is how we fill up our food. We fill this out once a day. We put like our name, room number, blah, blah, blah. Here's breakfast, here's lunch, here's dinner. Here's all the options that we have and everything. Their menu is online, and so we check which one. There's Chinese, Indonesian, dairy, vegetarian, Japanese. And Western so it's currently 5 p.m. and I've been doing nothing but sitting on my phone so then I decided to do my makeup and film a few TikToks. I think I'm gonna work out have some dinner 
I'm debating whether I should try out that bath or not. If not, then tomorrow because it's really deep and I really want to. Update guys, I just took a fat nap. I woke up to the food coming, so it's time to eat dinner. Anton got chicken karage. Finally, no white rice. Okay, that looks interesting. <laughs> We're gonna go eat. Peace out. Good morning, it's day three of our quarantine in Indonesia and we're gonna start off the day with breakfast. It's 7.10. Oh, it's actually early for once. Mm -hmm. We like chose 7 to 7.30 so they deliver in that like time, time stamp and yeah. Okay, let's show our breakfast. Ooh, wait, you did get the Indonesian one. Yeah, I did. <gasps> I oh my thinking. God, those are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it! Yeah, chia seeds look good. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. I got what I got yesterday, but instead of oatmeal, I asked them for scrambled eggs because I didn't like oatmeal. So update: it's 10:22, and we're about to give our phones off to the people at the front desk so they could put in a SIM card. Um, I know some people have some trouble with like finding out how to get SIM cards, but it was pretty easy for us. I mean, all we did is just contact our concierge. Con Concierge. concierge guy and he like told us all about it and they I don't know the whole steps or everything like that he knows everything we're gonna talk about that in like all our money budget video but yeah all you have to do is just unlock it give our phones to them and they're gonna bring it back with a sim card we only pay ten dollars each for it and it's 40 gigs of data you guys know the drill our lunch is here here's the first one Whoa, that looks interesting. I don't know what this is. This looks like yours though. I got a salad with tuna, eggs, some meat, rice, and a brownie. Whoa, look at the chopsticks. Chopsticks. Why'd you only get chopsticks? Good morning guys. It's our last day in quarantine today and I'm literally so excited because tomorrow we finally get to leave. Our breakfast just came. My brother's people watching because this is literally the only thing that you can do in quarantine. It's the most exciting thing right now. <laughs> okay, show us the breakfast. Um, okay, so this is mine. Pancakes, maple syrup, omelet, and oh, a fruit salad. Oh, that looks cute. I got the same thing he got yesterday because I liked it. I just switched out this. No way. Oh, they gave it to me. Yay. I had this for dinner last night and it was so good. I love it passion fruit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna munch away and watch some anime. You guys know the drill. It's what we've been doing for the past five days. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so for the epoch, <laughs> I, 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 we got our first uh, PCR results. What were they? Negative. Wait, how'd you see them? She just showed me. Oh, that's cool. So our first test was a negative, and this is our second test, and we're about to see tomorrow if it's negative, which I'm pretty sure it is, but let's fingers crossed. Look at that, that's a negative. Show them yours, show them yours. 
second negative. Ah, yeah, that's how we do it out here in Indonesia. <laughs> negative, fully negative. Update, it's 12 o'clock and we just got our lunch. We've come to the conclusion that our favorite is the Japanese menu 10. That's a wakami salad, rice with egg, chicken teriyaki, some beans, and matcha cake. But I switched out for the carrot cake because it's one of my favorites and some miso soup. I think I got that for dinner too, but I switched out the teriyaki for karage. Karage? Nice. Yeah, because I didn't know what else to order. And I was like, this is my last dinner. <laughs> he got the same thing. Let's dig in. Itadakimasu! <laughs> it's 6.27 p.m. We just got our dinner. Traffic is really... Why do I care about traffic? <laughs> I have been editing for the past three hours and I'm going insane. I'm done. I'm gonna take a bath, gonna relax, pack because tomorrow we're leaving and checking out at 10. So gotta clean up this place but I'm so excited for tonight's sleep because I know that when we wake up we can finally leave any final words after your bath I mean after your shower no. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay Guess what day it is? It's finally time to leave our quarantine hotel. We finally made it. A week has passed. How are your emotions? What are your thoughts? I'm super excited. I'm Wait. very grateful to be staying at this hotel, but Bali is Bali. <laughs> we just got our breakfast delivered. It's 6.30 a.m. right now. We have to pack and check out at 10. Can we check out earlier or no? Uh, it all depends on the passport. If we do leave earlier, we're going to go to that mall right there, get some bubble tea, get some coffee, and hopefully get a new mic because I broke mine. Oh, it's so nice having it so close. Like, all we do is just leave the hotel, walk over, and boom, mall right there. This is what I'm working with, some pancakes, omelet, looks a little bit too liquidy, hash browns, blah, 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 and fruits. This is his breakfast. He got the Indonesian breakfast again because... He likes that one. We're gonna eat and then hopefully check out. I'll keep you guys updated. So, pricing. Let's talk about pricing and how much this hotel cost us and if it was worth it, if it wasn't, anything that we hated and liked. We kind of played ourselves because we didn't book a quarantine hotel before we left because everything was booked up. So we knew we were gonna spend more money rather than less money. So when we got to Jakarta, after we passed customs, there are people lined up with different hotels and they're basically bargaining their hotels that like, come to our hotel, come to ours. So we went with Mandarin Oriental Jakarta and it was $1,248 Canadian. So what came in this price was two PCR tests for the both of us, so four. Uh, dinner, lunch, breakfast every day. We also had five pieces of laundry per day. Um, private airport pickups, so they picked us up at the airport, drove us here, did everything for us. All they did was just take took us through the scanning session went up the elevator, they handled everything, our luggage, everything. All we did was just get into the room, paid, and boom, we we're already inside. Such a fast process. It really was. Was it worth it? Hands down, the best experience ever. There's 24 hour service where we can WhatsApp anyone from the hotel. I didn't have chapstick, they went and bought me chapstick. He didn't have a what? Uh, a transformer from 120 watts to 220 watts. Uh, they went out and ordered and came in a couple of hours, which is phenomenal. Our SIM cards, we did not have to worry about anything. We texted the guy, he sent us this picture, which I'm going to insert right here, and basically set up everything. We only paid 400 IDR, 400,000 400, IDR. 125 was for the actual SIM card, and then like 75 or something for the installment. So everything here we literally just laid on our asses and they did everything for us i feel bad for that the wi-fi speed here is phenomenal we were whatsapping our parents 
a hundred percent facetime a hundred percent instagram tiktok uh while i was editing it's amazing here yes it's pricey yes it's probably not budget friendly but if you're gonna be stuck in a room for five days might as well do it. might as well do it also the food whole phenomenal we have different options of which we could choose for breakfast we had five different menus for lunch and dinner we had western indonesian chinese japanese options and in those different categories there are four different things there was also vegetarian dairy free everything is crazy here water when we wanted water they'd bring some water over i mean what more can we ask for in the five days of course like i said it's not budget friendly but the view is worth it <sighs> seeing this view every day people watching for five days so yeah was it worth it yeah it was so worth it hands down the best experience but all good things come to an end but this time it's coming to a really good end because we're going to bali our flight leaves in three hours and finally we've done it boys we've done it so the next time you guys are gonna see us is in bali in our private villa <laughs> If you do want to see what our villa looks like and how we're actually living in Bali, where we're staying, how much we're paying and everything like that, I suggest you guys sticking around because I promise it's going to be a good one. Definitely worth it. Bye! I can't stay. No, I always gotta go.